All right, what is up, everybody? Here we are again with another episode of All the Mods Nine. So we have a few things we need to kind of do that are of significant importance for progressing through the game. One of which is power. Now, of course, y'all, who, all of you who have uh, seen my all the mods six no i got into the power mod with the power reactors but today we're gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit you know we want this to be slightly more interesting to say the least right so we're gonna do solar panels and we're going to move the power through the ender cells of course So now we're just making a whole bunch of this dielectric paste that we have. Using lava buckets that are made from fire essence. And these clay balls. need more space that we don't really necessarily have quite a lot of yeah after this we are definitely getting into a storage system because this is ridiculous we're also going to need a lot of iron so we're going to have to pop over to Dom's base. So we got a decent amount of dielectric paste. Our first starting solar panels aren't very hard. You know, the photoelectric panes are probably the hardest, but we have everything for those. We literally have all the glass we're ever going to need. Right here. Just throw this in there and a few of these stacks of clay. Real quick. Okay. And now we're just going to need, like, probably a stack of those. A stack of solar panels should be decently enough prepared. And I think we should have some lapis kind of just laying around already. I thought so anyway. But we might not. I might have left it over. Oh no, it's here it is. Okay. Okay, so we gotta make these photoelectric panes here. We got 48. That should be a decent amount. Okay, now we gotta pop over and grab some iron. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get the speed of light. Wait, it should be this one. Yeah, this one. Okay. So with this, we now just need to make a whole bunch of these dielectric rods using a whole bunch of these iron bars. Oh, I made a lot. I don't have any dielectric paste left. <laughs> oh boy. Screw the gold nugget. Pick up the iron. Ended up making way too much, but what it can assist me in is making these uh, cables here. So I guess it's technically making me more prepared for it in the future. We're just gonna put some of these away real quick whatever chest we can find space at at this point. Um, we need to go to Dom's house, or his old house, because this isn't really, he doesn't really use this anymore. We need to take some of these. 
and just keep crafting buckets of lava. can make the horizontal ones and make a whole bunch of these dielectric casings. 38 of them should be decently enough. Okay, and now we gotta make these tiny capacitors, I mean these basic capacitors, which needs a whole bunch of dielectric paste and redstone. Okay, well, uh, that requires making more dielectric paste. Which isn't hard, just is time consuming. And of course, if I had my blaze seed running like I was supposed to have done, like last night, this would be a whole lot of a simpler process because I could just craft this in like literal huge amounts, but I was not in it. <laughs> not in the right mindset, really. So. Yeah. It's a day. It was a day yesterday. It wasn't a great day, but today is a lot better. <laughs> the stream went well. I got waffle rated. <laughs> oh, that's, that's such a funny thought, honestly. The fact that I got waffle rated is kind of funny. Okay, now we just gotta go back to Dom's new base. Y'all can go check out his channel and see what he's doing over on his side. He's, he's built a pretty decent looking base here with some nice little roof lights and everything. You should definitely go check out his channel. He's getting into some amethyst. Oh boy, he's really getting into some interesting things. What did I come for? Redstone, right. Redstone. Get this crap out of here. Ain't hey, nobody want that crap. Okay, um... Let's do this. Get some redstone. Spread it out, make redstone blocks. What the fork was that noise? Okay, and now we gotta make some of these basic capacitors. We're missing iron. Oh. Okay. Well, here we are. Iron. Whole we'll stack of them. And we can make them into tiny ones. At the moment. We can start making our starter solar panels. Oh, they don't stack. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, let's go home real quick. Um, wow, we really just need some space, and most of it's taken up by this stupid clay, so. Basic ones take basic capacitors. Yeah, it takes three to make one basic. It's really kind of a pain, because it means you have to go through everything 
kind of before. of iron again. At this point, it's just not surprising. <laughs> we have, like, a whole bunch of iron. Oh, it's a... Oh. Ha! Get ruined. Should be able to craft the basic ones. That's niotic, not what I want. The basic ones I'll have to do for now, for sure, because we definitely, uh, these should be able to power everything we get like this soon. do is kind of come put them down over here. What? Huh? Okay, well, I guess that's something. And we're basically just going to kind of clear out a space up here that we'll just be able to put the pipes under all of the solar panels and basically be able to power whatever we potentially need them to power, you know? That's our whole goal here, because we need to be able to basically power a craft, which is what I need to make at the moment. So now we can just connect them. It is cool they kind of connect, of course, if they're different ones, they don't. So it is kind of unfortunate, but what we need now is some basic energy cables, of course. And this will basically be our solar panel farm that will power everything we're going to need it to power. Which in this point is going to be where is it? There it is. The energizing orb. We need the energizing orb, of course. Which requires some glass. So these. Whoops. Because what we need to make is this ender core here, which is pretty simple. An eye ender, dielectric casing, tiny basic capacitors. Simple stuff, of course. Simple, simple stuff. The real hard problem is most likely going to be these. We don't exactly have... Oh, hi. Stupid trader, come here. What do you got? Popcorn bucket? Ring of recovery? 
Skeleton Skull, Rune Forged Greaves. Oh wow, those are kind of broken. I don't think I have. I mean, I guess technically I don't know if these will work, but do I have the emeralds is the question. I don't quite have enough emeralds. Ooh, I think that gives me enough. Come here, guy. These don't, these don't count. Okay. Gotta get a new pair of boots. I don't have enough! I need one more diamond. Oh, there they are. Okay. Whew! I I didn't have enough diamonds. It was like, all my diamonds disappeared. Okay. There we go. Rune Forged Greaves. Now I got protection five, I'm mending, I'm breaking five, stable footing, whatever that is, and feather falling five. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. Now to continue what we were doing. We need some stuff from Dom's house again. Which we can grab from his nether quartz plants he's got over here. His chests are completely full. He needs to get a better storage system going for those. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, this should be enough for us to power our little energizing orb thingy here from our solar panels. Of course, solar panels won't work at night, but they store a lot. And I mean a lot of power like especially when you get up to the higher tier they store 40 million each like the highest tier is 40 million stored so it's kind of crazy this should be a perfect seven yeah there we go okay so, I can't really skip tiers with this like I would want to because you kind of need the previous tiers. But my mo my biggest priority right now is definitely those, the ender cells, so I can start putting stuff down there to start automating a bee I went and captured so that I could not have to worry about prosperity shards for mystical agriculture. <laughs> Because mystical agriculture is a pain in the butt, to say the least. Let's just do that. Okay. We'll craft four of them. Four of those little thingamajigs. Okay, so we're going to need this and this. And we'll make some relatively basic ones. I probably could somehow. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, these are going really quickly. Okay, could I do 9 million quickly, though? Because I might try and aim for the spirited ender cells, because those are just, like, they're easy to get. You know, spirited crystals are relatively easy to get. And I would only really... Hold on, let's see. Spirited... Because they make, they have, um, how many blocks of spirited crystals? Oh. Yikes. Okay. Never mind. I mean, I probably still can get the other ones, but I only, I don't need it to do a whole lot right now, you know? 
I only need technically two of these. Of, uh, the Niotic ones? I could do two. Okay, I think I'll do those ones first, because I can upgrade everything later. And, like, as, as, as I go through, because I'm not going to need a whole bunch of power right off the bat. How much is this going to take? 2.7 million. It shouldn't take too long. 30 at 3%, so it definitely... It'll take a little bit, but not long. And what we need is power. We're gonna make this Niotic Ender Cell here, which requires obsidian. We need obsidian. Okay, and if I wanna make a battery, I need to work my way up through them, huh? Yeah, I do. Okay, what about these? These are up to work their way up too as well. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's the starter. That's the basic. The hardened. The blaze. Okay. So it seems like these are going to be the hardest part, is the capacitors. Because, like... Oh, do I have enough stuff to make more capacitors? Probably. Not a whole lot. Probably nowhere near enough, but it should be something. Because the batteries, I think, are decent as a choice option. Oh, they're out of power. Yep. But it's gotten halfway through it, so that's definitely decent. So now it should have started powering everything again up top. Do I happen to have any food on me? <laughs> I do not. Wow, my food is really a big issue. Okay, what are we looking at here? We're at 1.6 million. It's because these aren't really charging up like they were earlier because of the night time. We're almost there, though. Hey, 69. Very nice. Okay. So while we're doing that, we need to work on getting basic capacitors. I need more redstone. Of course. Who would have thought? Can get this uh, sand out of here just by kind of placing it around. Now that we kind of have a little bit more space, gotta go back here, grab some more redstone essence, make more redstone, make more redstone blocks, grab more iron essence, make more iron. I mean, technically, we really don't need to make more iron. We have a lot more of it back at home. Okay. Now we can go back home, make all of our stuff. Yep. 
using some of our blocks of iron right here. Okay. Now we should have plenty of these things, and I mean plenty, hopefully. We'll see how it kind of goes. And I think by now this thing over here should be done. Yep, we got our niotic crystal. Throw that in there. Okay, so now we gotta go through this process of everything. Let's craft us the battery. Okay, we need more of these. What am I missing? Iron? Not a problem. Let's get this done. Okay. That's simple. Done. Okay. Done. This can hold four million and max in track or in output and input. That's what it is. I don't know why I said in track. Um, is four K a tick? Which is good. We practically have. Okay, the hardened stuff we kind of have to wait on until this is finished but it's getting there pretty quickly so we don't need to really worry about that i need to find my bread where's my bread i should have put my bread somewhere i just don't know where oh there it is okay cool bread your bread Okay, um, let's grab some gold because we need to make some gold blocks to make hardened steel. I'm also going to need to grab nine blaze rods to make some blazing mesh. And then, let's see, after, the, yeah, then we can just go straight to the niotic battery. I don't think I have quite enough. Four for two. Plus, oh wait, this will make two. For some reason, this won't. <laughs> that sucks. I'm just gonna re-block this real quick. So that when we pick this up, it won't be a problem. Now we just kind of have to sit here and wait. And then we can just upgrade our battery straight away. Alright, now that we have that done, what we gotta do is now do this. That'll complete pretty quickly. Okay, and that gives us plenty of energized steel to make two of these. And upgrade our battery to hardened. Now we're just waiting on this to be finished, which will take a little bit, but not too long. Okay, we need to make some of these. One. And the second one, 
to. And I think we still have enough that we won't need anything else. We've got our hardened battery here. It's now it's max input and output is 10k and it stores 10 million. That's good. Um, we're gonna just kind of throw that in there. Real quick. Oh, apparently. Oh, son of a. I just interrupted that. That's rough. <sighs> Didn't need to right click on it. That feels bad. Okay. This is going pretty well so far. Make The battery process isn't difficult. If I really wanted to, I could take the battery all the way up to Spirited, and it wouldn't be too much of a problem, but this Niotic battery does 100 million stored and 100k FE a tick for input and output, so it's not that bad. And the Niotic Endercell takes in 100k FE input and output as well, so it literally is just evening out the process. So we literally will have all of the power being stored in one of these ender cells that will literally transport it as long as the chunk is loaded. Okay. And now we just need a blazing capacitor, which will craft two of them. Let's out of here, make my blazing battery. Make my niotic battery. Okay, cool. Now what we need is the eight obsidian we need so we can go borrow some from Dom since he's got a decent amount, which is like 38. <laughs> Where does he keep it? Uh, there it is. We need total eight. Okay. And now we can make these ender cells. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and now we're pretty much done. We have finished everything I wanted to accomplish this episode. So I'll show you how these kind of work. What you do is attach them to this and put in the battery and it'll start putting energy into this ender cell. Now if I put this ender cell down, you can also see it. So I can basically put this ender cell anywhere I'm going to need power and it'll power anything as long as I attach up the power cables. And so this is just filling up. I mean, it stopped because it's nighttime, but yeah, we have basically accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Like I said, we have gotten some power, enough to power a crafter to craft all these honeycombs, and then enough to hopefully run the centrifuge if it uses power as well. So yeah, we literally have accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button, subscribe, be greatly appreciated. I am trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so we'd greatly appreciate it if you could all help me out. And I shall see you all next time. Peace!